As the 70s roll in, stability around the world has never been as shaky. Interplanetary alliances join together to seek ideological supremacy across both planets. Cultural shifts are uprooting norms that have been in place for centuries. Technological shifts have been changing how the world itself functions. As these shifts occur, life continues in the seed bearer region, where a seemingly random group of people have come together to try and make sense of the nonsensical. This is Hazeltown Story. Hello, I'm Bob Nader. I am playing Ferris T. Tarot. Pronouns he, him. He is a TV host for a wildlife and a society show called Whole Wild World. It's not super popular yet, but he's trying to work on that. And that should be it. Hi, I'm Carnival. I'll be playing Elvis Graner. Pronouns she, they. An engineering student who has in adv- who has made a surveillance network by accident. I am, of course, Deathmaster780. I will be playing Bob B. Pronouns he, him. He's a local businessman who gets into some shady shit, maybe. And also, I'll be playing uh, Saskia, a dead soul trapped in a stone. Pronouns she, her. Rock spirit. I'm Torpetypus, and I'm here to Hazeltown contact these nuts, and I'll be playing Aravia, she, her, so, in Immortal Dumbass. Uh, yeah. So just to re- recap in my brain, because I was definitely not distracted for a little bit, uh, we are here grilling him about the uh, constellation cults, correct? You are. I am guessing, in particular, you are grilling him about. Uh, there was a name that Bobby got from Jonesy, uh, that was Reese Wilson, uh, that was acting as a treasurer for Cassiopeia. Um, in particular, uh, they are someone who is uh, basically on the take for the consul- uh, consortium. Okay, then uh, we can we can start with that. Yeah, because I, I, I may have been a little bit distracted for a bit. But, uh, okay, so, Ember, buddy, pal, since you maybe owe me a little bit here, could you tell me about a, uh, a Reese Wilson from your respective cult? Well, I, I was going to say, well, from cult, I take it. You mean Cassiopeia, but, yeah. Um, yeah, sure, that name. yeah. Uh, Reese Wilson, Reese Wilson. Um, the name rings a bell. I'm probably not that. I mean, I'm right now is just a member. Like I, I'm just like someone who just goes to the meetings and all that and takes part in the events. Although I did help them out with the storage. Um, Reese, Reese is not someone that I particularly got in contact with. Um, if he's someone who is, um, if he's someone that's, do you know what exactly they were doing? Uh, like accounting, from what I've heard. Accounting. So if if he's one of the people that's actually doing the business end of it, um, then I definitely wouldn't have been. I'm mostly just associate with like other members and like the kind of the teachers there. Um, but I'm not anyone who's like I've never gone into their actual like any sort of headquarters, even though they really don't have one as far as i know um as far as i know that a lot of the uh if there is something that i could kind of point you at because a lot of the times that these when we have like these sessions a lot of times especially after um uh started it actually got a little bit more um sanctioned i guess uh because we don't have to meet in like the forest anymore uh we've actually been meeting inside of uh I've actually been meeting inside of an actual building every once in a while. Uh, I don't think I ever got like into like any place that would be a headquarters, so to speak. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's any way that I could actually get you in touch with them. Unfortunately, there's not someone I particularly know. Um, hmm. Is there anything in particular that you're looking for them for? Or you're just so take it. You're looking for them for a reason. What is the reason again? Uh, We're looking for membership because we're looking for a way to get to Lionel because Cassiopeia is another branch of Terra Nova. Mm, yeah, because we uh, we're, we're looking to maybe uh, figure our way up the chain, let's say. Get up the chain. Well, unfortunately, I'm kind of at the bottom of that, so... Because hmm. there's someone at the top who... Uh, you know what? Don't worry about it. Well, I... Well, I guess if you're looking for someone at the top, I guess me 
kind of thing out there that's, I guess, a little bit less of an accomplice on my end. But, um, well, there's a couple ways I can I can do this, or I can help you out with this. Either I can point you out to when another meeting is going to happen, and uh, whoever, like, a higher up there might be able to point you in that direction, or I could do a little bit of research on my own and try and figure out where, um, uh, figure out where I can help you out with that. Uh, I mean, it's up to you. I can guarantee you we will probably kill the mood of your session or what have you next time you have it. Not necessarily because of me, but... He just kind of looks at you like, uh, okay, let's all just kind of poke. You know what? Why don't I poke around and then I will uh, see if I can uh, get you in touch with anyone that's a little higher up than me. Yeah, because I need to talk to your boss's boss. I see. Well, um, right now I don't have much for you. I can take a start taking a look, and maybe I can help you out in a little bit. Uh, is this any? Is this urgent? I don't know. Is the problem? Well, um, how about this? I, you do your research and maybe just uh, keep an ear out for the next time there's a session and let us know. All right, I I can I can help you out with that. You did me a solid, so I guess I can scratch your back for this one. I'll, I'll try not to make a mess if we if we go. I can't guarantee any of my pals here. Aravia says, gesturing to everyone else, won't oh, yeah, fuck I was, up. I was going to ask, did, was it just Aravi who went up to the office, or did everyone get I, brought I figured up? I brought everyone in. Oh yeah, I was going to go up, just because it's like, yeah, why not? You know, under the general assumption that this is between me and him, but yes. Well, actually, in that case, Bobby didn't go up. Uh, that I will be the one doing the, the talking is, is more what I mean, but yeah, okay. Alright. My point is, if you call us about the meeting, just make sure just, you know it won't just be me. Uh, well, alright. Uh, I guess in that case, then I will go ahead and do a little bit of research, and then hopefully I can find something for you. Okay. Uh, got any paper? Oh, uh, yeah, pen? sure. Uh, it gives you, like, uh, it gives you, like, some, like, a note that has, like, the logo of the thing. Okay, uh, Ravi just quickly jots down her number, uh, tears off the piece of paper, and just leaves it with him. Just call me at this number. It's actually just the number for the office. <laughs> All right. Just call me at this number whenever you get any info or whatever. All right, I will keep that in mind. And Ravi just heads out the door and waves goodbye. Ember waves back at you. Wow, that went extremely well. Why did... Wh what did you think would happen? I don't know. I kind of stop expect try expecting things. Um, Ferris ain't gonna ask what we're gonna do now. Well, I figured Bob B had a connection to check up on from the sounds of it. Um, he will ask if he needs if Bobby needs us to follow. Bobby says, uh, probably, maybe. We'll see. I think I mean might need to make an appointment for this. So I feel that since this now that you've kind of gotten a little bit of an intro for this, I kind of feel like now we are actually starting the days. Of this investigation. Yeah. Um, so uh everyone's favorite time, it's downtime. Our first um, downtime of the or go ahead. Before we do that, there do a quick meanwhile. Okay. So Saskia. Uh-huh. Sas so here's what's been happening with Saskia since last month. Uh nothing's happened with Saskia. After the session ended, she went back in the box, said nothing, done nothing. That's just been quiet sitting next to Bibli in the box with her rock making creepy creepy noises. That's awful. Don't do that yeah. to Bibli. Yeah, that's Bibli's awful root goth roommate. But anyway. I, I, go ahead, I was going to say Bibli was kind of already also partially goth girlfriend at that point. Or oh, goth well, they, roommate. So. Oh, well, they, they can be goth yeah, girlfriends but like, together. Different kinds of goth. Yeah. But anyway, just out of the blue, Sasia will just say to Bibli one day, and I'm going to do the voice as long as I can, but we'll see. All right. Bibbly. Yes. I need to discuss something with you. Please come inside my rock. I. I. Sure. All and, right. And the Bibbly makes an appearance inside the rock. All right. It's the same as always, except this time, Sasuke is actually facing Bibbly instead of ignore, sitting at her desk and ignoring her. She said, I've been thinking about things since our encounter in the scrying session. Yes. 
I have been waiting for something for a long while. Events that I think are finally coming to fruition. Okay. Yes, and I believe they are centered around those people you were working with, Ravia, and those other idiots. All right. As such, I wish to join up with them. I feel they may lead me to my goals. Okay. All but right. to do that, I must regain some of my power. As right now, I am can't, I can't even move around in this form. Okay. And to that end, I need to make contact with an old ally of mine. Uh-huh. And that's where you come in. All right. She hands her a piece of paper. This is a list of ingredients that I need you to acquire for me. Okay. It'll let me do a spell to summon my friend. Okay. And if you do this for me, I'm willing to make an exchange, as is custom for my order. An exchange? Yes. An exchange is the thing I have, all I've left in this world, knowledge. Okay. Knowledge of what? Well, that's up to you. I know many things. Just ask right. it of me and I will let, and I'll tell you what I know. All right. Uh, Bibli looks at, so what exactly are these ingredients? This is, I'm going for the familiar ability on the, under the sworn sheet. Okay. Let me do this. This is do, 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 storytelling do, do, do. to set this up. Okay, doke. Uh, let me double check. Or, uh, there's too many tabs. Hold on. Which direction are you? Uh, you are there. Okay. Do, do, do. Saskia. Uh, familiar, familiar, fam Oh, it's the other side. Familiar yeah. pet. Um, all right. Okay. Uh, so this ingredient, so this list of ingredients, how far fetched is it? It's stuff you could find in like a, like a hippie store with its old herbs and stuff. It's just a list that's just a bunch of different things of patchouli. Yes. Special chocks. Stuff All that's right. not really hard to find. Okay. Uh, Bill is like, well, I guess I can take this. I can part. I can uh, relay this note to someone who can actually go and find this for you. Uh, also, I can go ahead and uh, let them know that uh, we'll uh, give you to uh, give you to that group. Oh, don't worry about that. Once I've made contact, I'll handle that. In the meantime, you think about what you want to know. I must meditate. And regain my power. All right. And that is all. Okay. So I'm going to guess that your downtimes are going to be Saskia going for XP for familiar. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, so if that was the case, um, then, well, I guess we can actually start the downtime period now. Um, all right, Bob, what are you going to do for your downtime period? You get two actions. You know I've been thinking about this. Um, would it be possible to, like, start up a project with, like, a documentary of the Constellation Cults? Because uh, this feels like the kind of thing as, like, a TV host that would make good material. So what I would probably say that you're... So if you do it in the guise of, okay, you are working on doing a pitch for a documentary... Or are you doing, like, research for an entire documentary? Uh, I guess let's start with a pitch first. Maybe that makes more sense. So, in this... Hold on, let me get my handy-dandy... Um, no, no, I don't need the introduction. I need the mechanics list. Okay, okay. Uh, where's my long-term projects? Okay, starting... Okay, starting a crafting project, which I can get this... Okay, so... Let me do it like this. Okay, so... Uh, wait, not crafting. General long term. OK, so what exactly are you investigating or researching? I want to, I guess, gather up everything I've heard so far and kind of get into notes and that I can use, like when I'm actually pitching this to people, if that makes sense. All right. So a kind of a cursory glance of the different constellation cults. Yeah. All right. Um. So. All right. So what to OK, that actually you probably just answered this. To what level are you researching? Are you talking about surface level? Are you talking about like a good amount or are you talking about a deep dive? Let's say start with like a good amount. OK, Um. because this is not like common knowledge, I assume, right? No. OK, 
So in that case, uh, you are, I would say because what I have down, so basically what you're doing is you're about doing a medium level of understanding and you're taking a look at something that is somewhat in itself obscure. Let me just double check to make sure because it's been a while since I, oh, it has been a while. And I need to remember how to actually do this. How do I do tokens? Shoot. I forgot how to make a token. Oh, right. I go here. Progress track. Token. You. Okay. Um, multi side, choose side. Okay. So we got four. I said four, six, eight, ten. Hold on. How many is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And then that's a 16. It looks like. Um, I'm going to say, actually, you're going to do a. So it's going to be. I'm going to make it a 10 progress clock. Oop. All right. Um, I, well, okay, so here's the problem. Uh, well, I'm going to do it once. Um, that's a slight problem. Uh, yeah. Okay, that was weird. Uh, this monitor just froze. Okay, there we go. Oh, we're good. Back. Okay, we're mm. back. Okay. Um, yeah, it's probably me having too much stuff on screen at a time. Okay. Also, it's the fact that it's Chrome. Okay. Oh. There we go. So it's going to be a 10 sided. Uh, we're going to call this. To be oh. clear, is this. Sorry, go ahead. No, it was me bitching about the fact that there is. There's an edit button, but it doesn't do anything. There we go. Is this going towards, like, actually producing documentary or just, like, having it ready to make? So what this is going to be doing is this is going to give you the information available to do, do this stuff. Because these long term projects are all mechanical benefits um essentially right. uh so what i'll say with this is you, what you're doing is the research to either pitch your on your end really it is either you're going to produce it or you're going to do the research for it uh but from a mechanical standpoint what you're going to do is have a uh basically it will give you a list of all the known constellation cults what they are where they're located generally um and just information about where they can be all right there uh and i believe you get a roll for it when you start it player them and okay yes player then may roll to start research so you need to do an action roll uh and let me get your action roll up so you need to tell me which i mean i take i i am going to guess that this is research that you're going to do your action roll on because, I mean, that's... Um, research sounds good. What do I have? I have a team that's pretty good. I was going to say, because that's the only thing you have stuff in. Uh, so, go ahead and roll a... It's not going to matter what the um, controlled or all that. So, you can be controlled and great. Or control and whatever the standard thing of a bob is. Uh, two dice, right? Wait. So you're Wait. two die, yeah. All right. All right, you roll the four and a two. Which means that your highest is four... So you get three progress on that. All right. And uh, since I get two actions, I can do that one more time, please. All right. Go ahead and roll again. Oh, dang. Uh, all right. Then you're getting three more shoes. OK, so now your downtime's done. Uh, Carnival. All right. So uh, hmm. I want to go continue the work of Elmas. I mean, not Elmas is of Claudia's project of getting us the our, our own group of like of Baker Street Irregulars. Okay. So, so I don't I don't think you started that project. Oh right, we had, right, we right, we talked about it and you didn't know what that was, so we sidebarred it. So Okay, so are you going to start a new project? Yes. Okay. What's the other clock then? Oh, uh, that is for making drone glasses apparently. Oh wait, how much is left in the drone glasses clock? Uh looks like you have six more pips? I can do that actually. Never mind then. Yeah. We're going to have Elmis make the drone glasses so that she can distribute those to the group. All right, Elmis, you're going to make that. That's uh, going to be interface or tanker, so that's three dice. Yep, doesn't matter. Go ahead and roll. Where's, okay. Five. One. Okay, so you're five. That is... And then the engineer, that's let's three. see. But yeah, it's like... When I'm craft, I have the Minecraft ability. So when I'm engine, when I'm uh, crafting an item, I add an additional takes any roll that increases progress. So that's four. All right. 
And so we'll do that again. All right. If you just roll anything, it's like if, providing that you don't roll triple ones. A six. Yep, there there it is. Like, yeah, you're good. All right. Yeah, we got uh, Elvis's runs out of like whatever the workshop is. I got glasses for everyone, guys. And now we can use this to remotely. I can use. We can use these to coordinate using the drones so where we can see the information ahead of time. As long as you can provide them in aviators, it's fine. You worry me. Look, that's the, the aviator part is easy. The hard part was getting it all was the miniaturization to put this in the glass in the first place. All right. Pass it along. Bobby will take one. All right. I mean, do you want some? I mean, I'll take it. It's free. And Ravio just takes one, just pockets it. Ravi only wears Ray-Bans. All right. Oh, it's just this, these things confuse her. All right. Uh, in that case, um, DM. Uh, so... First, I'm going to use Bobby's efficiency and motion ability to give Saskia an extra downtime action. All right. And then all three into leveling up the swarm. Wait. Swarm. Three. Yeah. Actually. OK. Yeah. I, I had to. OK. Yeah. Because that's that's a passive. OK. Um, OK. So all all three go into Saskia. Swarm. Yep. Yeah, three right. because the efficiency emotion ability gives you give an extra pass uh, downtime action. Yep. All right. So Torpo. Um, I'll just train. All right. What are you gonna train in? That's the secret. All right. Oh yeah, I never. Oh, we never did figure out a thing. Oh, I see. I see that you have just added you. You have passed the threshold with the unique. And you have gained your third fingers and pies, gaining soldier <laughs> senses tingling. Passive. You always can tell when someone is armed or is about to draw a weapon and or strike. <laughs> That's right. I forgot you. I like the fact that you have both forget to count and that. So that, that's a good combo. Also, I added Ferris's project to the, the crafting sheet. Okay. Doke. It, it is a good addition, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So there is that for downtime. Okay. Dope. So in that case, uh, I guess we're done uh, with that. Um, so while this is going on, I take it that uh, basically uh, everyone kind of went to their own devices. Um, um, after like, like basically as was going on, uh, Aravio. Uh, mm -hmm. You are sitting at the office. Uh, then, As I'm so wont to do. Yep. Uh, you're just kind of casually sitting there. And then all of a sudden you hear a singular thump on the door. Uh, yes? There's no response. Um, Ravia gets up to go open the door to see what's outside. Um, so you go to open the door. You take a look outside. Look at like both directions on the hallway. There's nothing there. You do, however... As you go to close the door, notice that there is a piece of paper taped on the door. What does it say? Uh, it gives you a phone number and there is a drawing of a set of scales. Oh, fuck, Libra. God damn it. Well, looks like Bobby's plan paid off. <laughs> I'm going to call that fucking number. All right. Was it just a Ravi at the office or? Was I, mean, after, I uh, mean, Ash is probably Elvis. there. I assume Elmas and Bobby are there because that's for the glasses were made. I mean, you could do that. Yeah, sure. I just knew that. I just called the Ravi or single the Ravi out because I know that a Ravi is going to be there. A Ravi lives there. <laughs> One day she'll get that kitchen. So wait, you don't. You, you, I told you if you needed something, I could just build you it, right? <laughs> Bobby could buy you one. It's not the same unless I have other people pay for it. Again, Bobby. But not you. People who think they're important. Anyway, so what does it say on that sheet of paper? It's the number in the set of scales. Cool. Just, Aravia just shows them the paper. Bobby smiles as well. Looks like my scheme and paid off. Yeah, I'm I'm calling that number now. And Aravia no, goes. I'm with, hmm? with Bobby as long as you put it on speakerphone. Uh, sure. So Ravia goes to sit down at the desk once more. 
and starts uh, entering the number into the phone, taking it off the, the receiver. All right. Uh, after a while, um, after a while, uh, you you hear that there is like someone picks up the line and from the other end, you can hear like you hear them talk, but it is gone through a voice changer that makes it very nondescript. I see uh, that says that I see my uh, I see my uh, helper got got there that to you pretty quick. Oh, shit. So is it whose voice is it? Uh, you can't tell. They're using uh, a voice changer. Oh, uh, so who who do I have the honor of dealing with here? Uh, someone that can help make some things uh, make a little bit more sense. Well, someone that can help make things make a little bit more sense. What have you got to tell me? But yeah, let me just cut to the chase. Uh, so you had contact so to speak a little while ago yes yeah define contact uh let's just say you met someone out of this world i mean i've met a few of them someone who can help who can help make things make a little bit more sense but yes sure yes uh have you in particular uh let's just say have been having dreams lately very tiresome dreams I'm so done with them. Well, if you want those dreams to go away, I can tell you exactly where you can make them go away. Sure, someone who can help make things make a little bit more sense. All right. Uh, I want you to go to... Or here. So here's the thing. Uh, there is a... Uh, there used to be a tavern uh, based off of an Irish... Uh, it seems like an Irish pub uh, named the Lucky's. That used to be in. Wow, that's a weak name, but go on. Uh, that was na- that was uh, it used to be um up and running in Hazeltown. Um, I- I'll give you the address. Uh, right now it is closed. Uh, no one really. Uh, it has been abandoned. Uh, no one really. It's kind of just an open building at the moment. No one really owns it. So it's time uh, for a B and E, is what you're saying? Uh, well. I can, well, the the B part is not going to be necessary. Um, there is a dumpster uh, that is behind the back wall. Uh, behind the dumpster, you will find a, there is a little red box. Inside the red box, is, there is a key. That should be able to get you in. Man, At, I can't believe we get to visit Bob B's place. Bobby just rolls his eyes. Um, so, uh, if you are, in fact, the person that the or that uh, I am supposed to get in contact with. I need you to or you will if you go in, uh, it may look empty, but it is not. Don't let the outward appearance fool you. Sure thing. Someone who can make things make a little bit more sense. Well, I'll make it make a little bit more sense after you uh, talk to my friend. Sure. Thanks for the help. Then someone who can make things make a little bit more sense. You know, they'll they they hang up. <laughs> Bobby says, oh, actually, before. So before before they hung up, uh, did, did I mention at midnight that you're supposed well, to go there? No, you didn't. OK, that you're supposed to go at midnight. OK, you got it. Someone who can make things make a little bit more sense. I mean, she's, to... she's, she's like this to everyone. It's fine. It's not just you. Look, I asked for a name and that's the name I got. All right. Once they've hung up, Bobby says, well. That's going to cut into break and enter time. Yeah, we can always break and enter. I mean, we can just enter. I like I breaking things. About, well, I was talking about the crime scene. Mm. Uh, I can we can before we can before we before we uh, head over, I can drop a few more uh, drones to scan the area for later. Mm. I we don't need to all go to the same place. It's OK, true. you guys can still break in. It's fine. Well, it's all the same if you, Bobby, would like to come with you to Lucky's. Breaking and entering's not quite my style anyway. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, we're going to be visiting your place anyway, so... Yeah, sounds good oh, to me. Oh, Bobby's place is much nicer than an Irish pub. Oh, I meant the dumpster. Oh, well, aren't you special? Thank you for listening to Hazeltown's story. 
If you'd like to get updates on this show and many other shows hosted by me, Lola DePozlo, you can follow at Hazeltown Story on Twitter. And if you would like to get to know me or from a personal standpoint, you can follow my personal Twitter at Lola DePozlo. If you would like to watch this be recorded live, you can go to twitch.tv slash Lola DePozlo and follow the channel for notifications of when this show, as well as other shows like Retro Rank Rhapsody, are being recorded. If you would like to add this podcast to your podcatcher of choice, you can search for WLDP Hazeltown Radio and find us on most major podcatching search engines. Or you can manually add rss.hazeltown.life to your podcatcher. Thank you for listening, and I hope you come around for the next episode.